Okay, today I'm going to go over a printing project for our Arduino Uno case. I'm on Thingiverse here. This one is the one. This is the one. And this one's uh, good because it looks nice, neat case. You can have the pin still. And it has these clips, so it works, it stays in, and you can get it in and out quite easily. So here, download, download. I have them in Cura already. Cura is a, um, a slicing software, and you can just get it from Cura's website. Just like anything. Download it for free, and then you have to put in your printer settings. So for the Ender V2, um, I just Googled them and um, found out what it needed. So here's the bottom. So 0.2 layers is good. This just come, it's just is what it is. 20% uh, in, uh, infill. 200 degrees nozzle, 60 degrees table, cooling out. I don't need support, and I use the brim. I've done it successfully with nothing, and I've used raft. Raft is um, was just too much um, extra material, so the brim works pretty good. Slice it. Two and a half hours, and then we go preview. And you can see it has a bit of a, and it's quite thin. It's a, it's a nice um, base. So you can, if you uh, move this, you can see the layers. And um, then this shows the tool path. And this uh, creates the G code. For, so for the top, um, you got to flip it over. Flip, 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 and then brim as well. Hour and a half. It's got a nice brim on it too. Okay, so we'll jump over to the printer and uh, get started. I have the top part printing right now. It's almost done. Just wanted to get of the printing, bit of the printing. It's been going for an hour and 20 minutes and it's almost done. And then I'll print the top, or the bottom, I guess this is the top. And then I'll print the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna print the bottom section now and firstly I like to level the platform so I arrange the nozzle over the adjustment screws so usually might be some Put a paper in between, right when it's just scratching. That's how I adjust it. And I should try to remember to loosen it a bit so it doesn't interfere when I'm when it goes over because it'll slide across the table. But I do it every time, just seems like a good habit. Seems 
good. One last one. good. Now, auto home. Now, preheat. So that's about it. Um, just gonna let it preheat and then just stir it up. And you saw a bit of it um, printing on the top part. So it takes a few minutes just to get it. When you load it, preheat it, and then once you load it, it, it um, takes a few moments before it starts. So I just wanted to show the level and yeah, so we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the printed Arduino case bottom and the top put it in and it has these clips well that one broke oh that's too bad and then it clips in this one gets broke but that's okay and uh then you have the pins here and yeah, it should be pretty good. I like the look of this. It makes it a little more sleeker, protected, and can still work on it or, you know, use it for work with the pins out. But yeah, pretty pleased with this um, result. <clears throat> and yeah, I guess that's all for today. And uh, until next time.